hi everyone sandwich one again um, today I'm going to be doing the next part of the tutorial series this uh, part is going to be going over recipes so I've gone ahead and I've already made recipes for several things that would be very similar um, for you to watch me make so they it wouldn't be very informative it would just be uh, pretty much the same thing uh, for example when I made the redstone pick it's basically just a pickaxe um, but with redstone ingots in the place of the material you would put it in the crafting table um, so all these tools are pretty much around uh, that idea so um, I'm going to uh, show you the recipe interface right now so when you click new recipe it comes up with this and it should look pretty similar it um, pretty familiar I mean um, it is uh, nine it is three by three um, drop down menu grid which basically represents the crafting table so if um, I'm going to make redstone cookies recipe right now um, in Minecraft when you have redstone uh, not redstone when you have regular cookies um, there's wheat wheat and then cocoa beans in the middle so I'm going to put in wheat wheat and then redstone in the middle and then I'm going to set the output to have redstone cookies so um, when you click the drop down menu it has every block and every item in the game but they're in alphabetical order help you find it um, so I'm now in W's so wheat and then wheat again uh, so then I'll just get redstone dust right there okay so now I hit output and I want to select redstone cookie and so now I gotta give it a recipe name and that'll just be redstone cookie recipe and the amount made um, for uh, say tools and armor you'd have it as one you could change it I think but um, I just usually would put it as one but for cookies in actual minecraft it uh, creates eight when you craft it so I'm going to set this to create eight and shapeless recipe that just basically means that if that's checked off um, the materials that you've selected to put into the crafting grid they don't need to be in any sp particular pattern um, if that's checked off so the player could put wheat anywhere they wanted and redstone dust anywhere they wanted as long as all those materials were in there and it would craft redstone cookie um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to create the recipe for redstone ingots and then uh, for redstone rods because you're going to use ingots to um, not only craft the tools and the armor you're also going to use them to create the redstone rods that you can use for fuel so um, when you create redstone ingot I want it to be kind of efficient um, because I don't want you to have to waste too much redstone even though it is uh, pretty common uh, so I'm just going to go and find redstone dust in this list so to kind of make it um, more efficient what I'm going to do is make it so that when you put four redstone in it'll give you two um, ingots redstone ingots so that's a little less wasteful I think did I already go by the R's uh, so I'm just, it's just going to be kind of you could make it in the regular crafting grid that's in your inventory um, it's just going to be a two by two thing of redstone dust which actually maybe I should reserve that for redstone glowstone yeah you know what I'm going to do instead I am going to reset this and I'm just going to have it a shapeless recipe actually so I did not need to do that yeah shapeless recipe that way it doesn't it probably it probably won't conflict with my other recipe for redstone glowstone so this will be redstone ingot recipe it'll make two and we just select that uh, so now I'm going to create the redstone rod recipe um, put redstone ingot um, redstone ingot here and then here so if you put them across like that that'll create the redstone rod uh, that will just uh, I could make that a little more of eh, no nah, I'll just leave this one so the recipe name will be redstone 
rod recipe. And I whispered that really weirdly. So, um, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, there is one more I uh, saved to make the redstone chest plate. Um, for as an example. So I'm just gonna create it like you would create any armor's chest plate. I'm gonna have redstone ingots surrounding um, in every slot except for this one right here. So redstone ingot, ingot, ingot. Um, it really helps actually that um, the items that you've created in the mod are at the very top of the list or else that would have been very painful to go through and do. So it'll come out with redstone chest plate. Okay. Um, so I believe, what did I create the redstone helmet recipe? Um, I don't think I did actually. Um, yeah, no. Uh, let me go do that actually right now. Um, but yeah, after I do this quickly, I am going to create the redstone glowstone um, recipe. Okay, so next is going to be the redstone glowstone. Uh, create, and I will just have this the way you would create regular glowstone um, with glowstone dust in a 2x2. Uh, two two. So I'm just going to do this with redstone dust. So I need to go down and find that. So this might just take a quick second for me to get through this list. Okay, there we are. So that will be redstone glowstone recipe. Um, yeah, and that'll just make one. Yeah. Um, so next, uh, now that all my regular um, item recipes are done, I'm just going to save that so I don't lose anything. Um, and I'm going to start um, just show you how to make furnace recipes. Um, I don't think I'm actually going to have any furnace recipes in this mod, um, just because it doesn't actually fit in anywhere. I did not create anything for that. Um, but I, I could have, obviously, but this is I'll just make a quick example one and then remove it. So I'll just make this, um, y you can take uh, regular items that are actually in the game that you didn't create yourself and you can just make furnished recipes for them too. Um, so I'll just do something random like that and I'll keep it in actually, not delete it. So the name for this, I'll just make it so you can smelt wooden planks into charcoal. How's that? Um, so wooden planks smelt. Um, it'll just make one charcoal. Um, so the input right here is whatever you put into the furnace in the smelting spot. Um, so I'm going to put wooden planks. And then what will come out once it's smelted will be charcoal right here. And so there you are. It's kind of completely out of nowhere, but um, that's just the example. So uh, that should wrap it up for the recipes and furnace recipes tutorial. Um, I hope this helped you. Um, I'm just going to save quickly. And um, so the next tutorial should be going over, um, I think the next one will be about mobs. So thank you for watching and sandwich one.